These are some good ideas. I've been traveling full time and I didn't realize that when I did that, I was gonna become the hardest person to buy a gift for. Hey guys, my name is Shayla and I make these videos every Wednesday. I've been traveling full time since 2015 and this Wednesday I am in Washington where we will be for the next two weeks. I make these videos every Wednesday to inspire you and encourage you to go out and create the life that you want. I first wanna start with Thanking my patrons, thank you for being a patron. You are the reason why I get to keep doing this. If you guys are interested in being a patron, I message you directly, I follow you on social media, look to you for ideas. It's a great little group that I have. This Wednesday, I'm going to be talking to you about gift ideas for travelers. And some of you are like, Sheila, it's the middle of December, it's a little bit late for this. And the other ones are like, oh shit. I need to get something quick. If that's you, this is the guide for you. You are the traveler in your life. Forward this video to somebody that you think needs to know what to get you. And if you know a traveler, these are some good ideas. I've been traveling full time and I didn't realize that when I did that, I was gonna become the hardest person to buy a gift for. I need something that I'm going to want in my backpack and carry around with me. I don't need extra stuff because I don't wanna carry it around. Thing number one, I literally just got this guy. It is an Instax Mini 9. This is really fun for travelers because when you're traveling or you're, you're trying to get like the perfect shots of everything and make it look real Instagrammy and blah, blah, blah. This is super fun because you get just like super candid moments. Look at this cute picture of me and Seth. Different photos while you're out and about. These are more for memories versus your photos where you're taking that you're trying to make super perfect. This is an awesome gift to get the traveler in your life and get them some of these because these can be kind of expensive. It's about a dollar a pop. So get them some so that they have lots and you don't have to worry about that. The next thing, this Goal Zero Sherpa 40. It's a charging bank. So you can plug this into the wall, charge it up, and then when you're at the airport and you can't find a plug-in or you're on the plane and you're and your phone is about to die, you can just plug into this thing and recharge your phone, it's super awesome. There's more expensive ones where you can have a whole plug-in like for your computer or something, but these are essential for just airports or in your car or whatever, like these are amazing. Number three, probably what I should have started with. Hello, a backpack. I obviously always go with Gregory because I work with Gregory. These backpacks are amazing. This is the first backpack that I ever bought before I started my channel and Gregory keeps trying to replace it and I'm like, no. And I know there's supposed to be like non-attachment or whatever, but I love this bag. If you ask Seth, I'm an overpacker sometimes. This bag has been stretched to its literal limits. I'm sure I could fit one more thing in there, but mostly it's been stretched to limits. But it opens here so that it's not just a black hole. It also opens from the top. And then there's a compartment here. There's compartments on the sides. These hip straps help so that it doesn't strain your back. These backpacks are amazing. Mine, because everyone always asks, is a 30 or a 60, a 60 liter. Another thing that people always ask is, can I carry it onto the plane? If you're going with a budget airlines like Spirit or something like that, no. But if you're going with Delta or United, you're kind of who has to put it up top like this and not how you're supposed to like this. All right, what's next? Number four, a Skyroam. Other thing is called a SIM card. So Skyroam is a pocket Wi-Fi and you just pay a rate every single day for while you're there. It's the greatest thing ever. It just makes a hotspot. So like five devices can hook up to it. So a SIM card looks like this little piece right here and it just pops in and out of your phone if your phone is unlocked. All iPhones I think past seven are unlocked. You could probably go online and pre-order these so that you have it and you're ready to go when you get to the airport. And for me, the SIM card and the pocket Wi-Fi are for safety. When you're in another country, you wanna be able to be connected to home or to your friends or to different things. So it's really important to me to have a SIM card or a Skyroam because you just get to stay connected and you're not just wandering out with no way to contact anyone. Thing number five. A Sonicare toothbrush. If you are a traveler, you are not getting to the dentist as often as you should. I just went to the dentist recently after three years and they told me that my teeth were looking really good. I had one filling that I needed, but otherwise this is it. This is it. You have to charge it every once in a while, which is inconvenient, but like this helps your teeth stay good in between the dentist office. Number six, these AirPods. These are the AirPods from Apple. I'm not gonna lie to you, these are pretty expensive. Uh, they're like anywhere from 150 to 180, I think. They're not cheap. A lot of people are like, well, they're not noise canceling. When you're traveling, this in your bag is like the greatest thing ever. I can throw it in my purse. It always goes in the exact same spot. Once you hook it up to your iPhone, put these things in and it'll just go 
it just connected to something. It almost automatically connects unless your Bluetooth is off. The other thing that I love is this is a charging case. If they're going dead, you plug them back in here and it charges it. When you're listening to music and maybe someone just comes to talk to you, pull out your earbud, it pauses your song or your audiobook or whatever you're listening to and then you just plug it back in. And you can double tap and talk to Siri, it's great. I, w I, I love them. Like I was like, those are expensive, I can't do it. And I'm obsessed with them. Number seven, an electronic organizer. I use side by side and I freaking love it. There's two zippers that you have. This big giant zipper, and that's where I put my hard drives, but you could put like your computer charger, but there's a big one there. And then you have this other one that opens up. This is for like your bigger cords, you got a, a pencil or pen thing, all your little cords, then watch this. You have a little zipper for your SD, another thing for like thumb drives or whatever. And then a whole another one of these, which you could use for your, if you have the extender on your computer or your, yeah, your computer charger. Side by side is amazing. It's just goes in my backpack, keeps me super freaking organized. If you want to get them something cute and meaningful, minimalist jewelry is the way to go. That's what I, I always wear like kind of these layered necklaces. Ryan Anthony's is one of my favorite places to buy jewelry from because it's like relatively inexpensive, but it's so meaningful. So it's a nice way to like send a gift, but also send a meaning. So some of them are like, you've always been by my side or like you're, you, you're strong. I, love them. Number nine, a Yeti. Where's mine? Seth asked me one time, how do you eliminate or minimize your carbon footprint? And I'm like, I can't. I don't have a home. I can't recycle. I can't compost. I can't do anything. But I do get a ton of coffee. So here came the Yeti. Mine is a cute coral. Mine's a cute coral cup. Wow. Mine is a cute coral color. Seth has a black one. You can get whatever you want. And you get 10 cents off at Starbucks when you use it. But really, Every time I use it, I feel like I'm just saving the planet. That's saving at least five cups a week. And it keeps your drinks cold. If I get an ice something, at the end of the day, it'll still be ice. See, I kind of like my hot drinks sort of like room temperature. So I, I have a little bit of a trouble when I get a hot drink because it never cools down. This is huge for travelers because you're saving the planet. You could also throw in a Starbucks gift card. I know that I wouldn't mind that. Number 10, we're gonna stick on this gift card train, okay? One thing that I enjoy doing, but never by myself, are doing my hair, manicure, and pedicure, okay? They will appreciate that so much. Even better, if you wanna schedule it for them, they will love that even more. Number 11, Airbnb gift card. If they are traveling and they're on a budget, maybe they're staying in hostels, or if they're not staying in hostels and they're staying in Airbnbs, they're going to love a night on you. you can't buy them online, but you can get them in stores. You are going to help them stay somewhere while they're traveling. Whew. I hope that that's helpful because as a traveler, I know that I'm not the easiest person to give a gift for, but those are the things that I have and that I love and that I would recommend to anybody who's traveling and especially anybody who's trying to gift something to the person who's traveling. If this is helpful, please comment below and let me know. If you would add anything, also write that below. All of these things will be in the description below. And if you are a patron or on the email list, you already got this. If you would like to do that, the link for both of those are below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all next Wednesday where I will talk to you about how you can travel the world for free, or at least for $30 for the membership for World Backer. Thank you guys all, see you next week. Mwah. Oh my gosh, look at this. What the?